Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have a Heathkit SB221 here. It does not have 10 meters. So, I'm going to go through this, fix everything, do the Harbach uh, filter cap board, metering board. Needs a new plate tune air variable. I'll show that when I flip it over. So, it's bias mod, needs a lot of repair work on the wiring. So the cord's all electrical taped, I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. And uh, clean all this up. Does need a new SO239 on the input side, it slips right in and out. The other, the, the output feels okay, I might change that also. But um, take the Grid chokes out. There's a lot of bad solder work right here. I'll unsolder that and crimp it around and solder it. Bad solder work over here. The filament lead connections. Change electro electrolytic cap. So I'm just going to go through the entire thing. Just a lot of little things. It's a lot of work. So, hey, okay, so I'm going to start by. Grounding, grounding grids, it's like someone put a different cap in here at some point, I assume that's a cap, There's supposed to be a cap there, like a mica cap, but... okay. see you guys soon, stay tuned, okay the bottom's all set, I'll show it after, take out the old fil filter caps, metering board, do everything else I normally do in here, I'll show the air variable after. Okay, back to work. See you soon. Okay, I'm back with the completed SB221. I'll turn it around, show the bottom also after this. So I ended up replacing the SO239 connectors. The old ones were shot. The PL259 slipped right in and out, and the screws were loose too, so everything soldered really well. The cord was okay. It was just separated from the green center conductor. There's a ground, hot, hot. It's wired for 240, so it was fine. So I just put heat shrink over it. There's no, no damage to the insulation on any of the conductors. So that's good. New parasitic suppressor resistors. New plate blocking cap. New air variable capacitor on the plate side. Clean the rotary switch with deoxy gold. Had bad solder connections in here down there, so I took care of all of that. Took the nuts off, the outer nuts, tightened the inner nuts. New meter lamp bulbs. Harbach metering board, Harbach filter cap board. Series glitch resistor, series with the B positive. Got rid of those washers between the plate tune air variable cap and ground. That's about it. I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Oh, one other thing. The fan wasn't centered. Someone took the fan out, changed the fan, and the blade was almost touching. So now this, the fan is centered. It's going through the proper holes in the back here. So that's good. Okay, so also touched up on that solder joint over here and the solder over here. So this thing needed a lot of work. Okay, so I'll show you the bottom. I'll be right back. Okay, so I grounded the grids the proper way, all right to the chassis. Fixed solder joints on the filament choke connections over here. They were just the the uh, enamel wire was just going across it with a tack solder tack joint. It it wasn't wrapped around and crimped and then soldered. Repair these solder joints over here between the filament transformer secondary and the filament choke. Fix solder connections on the TR relay. Did the bias modification, clean the contacts on the TR relay. Bias relay. I uh, fixed the solder joint for the safety choke. Replaced the electrolytic cap for the rectified winding on the filament transformer. Let's see, touched up on all this. 
there were a lot of loose connections all over the place. Uh, fix the solder connections over here on the leads. Uh, the cap leads again were almost touching so I put heat shrink on them and they're now isolated from each other. Grounded the I soldered the ground really well for the line cord. I ended up extending the wire coming off the transformer to the terminal strip and resoldered it at the terminal strip. It was it wasn't done well and the wire had a lot of strain on it, so I had to lengthen it. So it's soldered, heat trunk, and I used Teflon wire since I have thousands of feet of it. So zip tied everything real nice. I'll show you the front. So this amp got a brand new set of tubes. So it's all set. If you need an amplifier repaired, any of the amplifiers you see on my website, there's my, my phone number and my website right there. It's amprepairguy.com, 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Thanks for watching. Take care.